Hello zusammen, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you guys are all doing well and I hope that you are having a good summer so far as much as possible. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Diana. Welcome. I am a Canadian expat living and working in Berlin, Germany. And on my channel, I talk about my experiences living here, what daily life is like, and I share with you advice on how you can also move here as well to live and work. So if you are into that, make sure to stick around. But today I'm actually gonna be sharing with you 10 life lessons that I have learned since living in Germany. So these are lessons that Germany has taught me. And I've been in a bit of a reflective mood because my birthday just passed. I just turned 30, which is absolutely crazy. I can't believe it, my 20s, have passed by, but that's okay. I'm totally okay with the number, but I have been reflecting, you know, thinking back on my life thus far, and I've realized that I have grown just tremendously since my time living in Germany. I have learned a lot of things, and I wanted to share that with you guys in case you are interested in moving here, or maybe you are already here and you are experiencing a lot of the same things. So let's go ahead and jump into it. We have 10 things to talk about. Starting with the first one is that there is no time for fakery and small talk. If you guys have been watching my videos for a while or you know anything about the German culture is that Germans are very straight to the point. They're very much like this in their personal life as well as in their work life. And I have learned that there is just no time whatsoever for surface level conversations, surface level interactions, or fakery. And I like to say this because I really, really noticed this once I moved over from Canada where we have a lot of these surface conversations. It's very common. And ever since moving here, I just have a new appreciation for more meaningful conversations. And I have less time for fake people, fake friendships, and I much rather you know spend my time speaking to people that i actually genuinely find interesting rather than just having meaningless conversations so that is something i have definitely learned and that took some getting used to uh, when i first moved here but i appreciate that now a lot the second life lesson that Germany has taught me is to have a much deeper appreciation for nature and parks and just not being in big cities all of the time. I am quite lucky that I live in a big city like Berlin because it offers me a lot of opportunities, you know, work-wise and just being in a big city, you get a lot of cool things to do, you get a lot of new restaurants popping up, but Berlin has sort of a small city type of vibe, at least compared to what I was used to in Toronto or to some of the other big cities that I've been to, let's say um, in the US, like New York or Seattle or even Tokyo. Berlin is a big city, but in the grand scheme of things it's very very spread apart there's a lot of trees a lot of parks um, it's very open and being in a city like this i really appreciate having a lot of nature around me now and now when i think about traveling i gravitate towards more nature-based places places that are a lot more quaint a lot smaller and prior to this, I was all about the big city life and about the hustle and about going a million miles per hour. But being in Germany has really taught me to appreciate all of the beautiful nature, all of the beautiful landscapes. And I still get that in Berlin, which I really love. Lesson number three that I've learned is that less is more. I have become a lot more of a minimalist ever since moving here, not just when it comes to my actual belongings like my clothing or even what I have in my home, 
but it has taught me to be more resourceful with the things that I have. For instance, if something breaks in my house, I will look for a way to fix it. And an example that I have here is that I bought a lamp and I filmed it a while ago because I was very excited about these vintage mushroom lamps that I got but they were very, very vintage and one of them did not last that long. And instead of just tossing it away and going out to buy a brand new lamp, I actually found a repairman that specializes in fixing lights and lamps and I got him to repair it. And back in the day, back when I lived in Toronto, I definitely would have just tossed the lamp away. I wouldn't have considered getting a repairman, but I did and this has definitely been because I have a shift in my mindset when it comes to the things that I buy, the things that I consume, and I want to be able to make the most use out of the things that I have. In Germany, especially in Berlin, there are a lot of these repair shops. There's a lot of repair shops for um, furniture, for appliances, there's a lot of secondhand shops. So people are much more used to going to these places to get things fixed instead of just constantly consuming and buying new things and just throwing away things that maybe are broken but could be potentially fixed. So that is something that I've definitely learned. I also don't shop as much as I used to. I tend to wear the same things over and over again. I invest in more good quality clothes rather than fast fashion things that I'm gonna be able to use for a few months. And I also have become a lot more minimalist when it comes to my makeup and just my day-to-day -day style as well. And that has definitely saved me a lot of money. It has saved me a lot of time. And I really like the more minimalist approach that I have gained since living in Germany. The fourth lesson that I have learned is to appreciate the little things in life and just generally take it more easy. And I don't mean, you know, be lazy, sit on the couch, do nothing. But I mean that in Germany, people here just tend to have a more relaxed um, lifestyle, a way more relaxed approach to their day-to-day -day life. They take time to enjoy their company with their friends, to just enjoy time by themselves, whether that mean going out to the park for a walk or meeting up with a friend for coffee and cake on a Sunday. It's just a much more relaxed lifestyle. And as I mentioned before, I was quite used to the hustle and the bustle and just going at it a thousand percent back home. That's just the culture that I grew up in. And here I have just been able to relax, to enjoy the little moments, even if it means I'm going out to get ice cream, which yes, it's a very German thing to do. Germans do love their ice cream in the summer, but if I'm just gonna go out and get ice cream, that's super exciting to me and I appreciate that and I enjoy it and I don't need to go a thousand percent all of the time. I can take my time, relax and enjoy the people around me and enjoy the surroundings without feeling guilty and I really, really appreciate that about the German lifestyle uh, because I did not have that before whatsoever. Number five is to always stay curious and keep learning. And I really want to thank the Germans for this. I was always generally a very curious person and I liked picking up new things and new habits and learning about things. But when you speak to Germans, you start to realize that they are just very curious by nature. They're always learning new things, whether that mean that they are, you know, building something or reading about something. And they're just very, very well informed on a lot of different topics which has really motivated me to do the same I'm always you know trying to keep up with the different interests that I have and even stay curious about different topics that maybe I wouldn't have had an interest in before and this has allowed me to have a lot of really great conversations with different types of people people maybe that I wouldn't have interacted with before or we wouldn't have a lot in common with so yeah I definitely got to thank the Germans for this 
this because they've definitely inspired me to push myself out of my comfort zone, learn new things, learn about new topics, and to always stay curious and question things. So yeah, that is a trait that I definitely appreciate and I encourage all of you to always keep learning, learn about different topics, even if they don't necessarily interest you, you'll never know what you will discover and it will just allow you to meet a lot of different people and have a lot more meaningful conversations with a variety of different people that maybe you wouldn't have interacted with if you didn't pick up on certain topics or certain subjects. Number six is to be more courteous towards the people around me. I know that North Americans, Canadians, Americans, we have sort of a bad rep of being too loud and a bit too obnoxious. And I'm not saying that I completely got rid of these habits, but being here in Germany, it does make you become more aware of the people around you. Especially I learned this during quiet Sundays because Sundays are a day of rest here. So I know now that I cannot do my laundry on Sundays. I can't vacuum on Sundays. I shouldn't make too much noise because Sundays are very, very sacred in Germany and I don't want to disturb my neighbors and I don't want to be that obnoxious obnoxious American or Canadian that just moved in and is just not considerate of everyone. And back home, we all sort of have this individualist approach, like we're going to do what suits us when it suits us. And here, that's just not what people are about. It's much more community based. I'll also notice this quite a lot in daily life. Um, even with my neighbors, we will often receive each other's packages if we're not home. And this is just a really nice thing because it, again, it just teaches you to help each other out, to be more courteous of the people around you. And there's a much more of a community approach rather than everyone being super separate all the time. Even with my neighbors once, they were gonna have a huge party one night and they let us know beforehand. They knocked on our door and they came over with cupcakes and cookies and they said, hey, just wanted to let you know, we are gonna have a party, it's probably gonna get really loud. Just wanted to warn you in advance and here are some cookies. Hopefully this makes it better. And I just thought that was the sweetest thing ever. That would never happen in Toronto at least. In Toronto, nobody speaks to their neighbors and I just thought it was really nice how courteous people actually are here. The seventh lesson that I have learned is to not be so serious. It's okay to laugh. It's okay to have a good time. And this is completely different to the German approach. Germans are known to be quite serious. Um, they don't like to make a lot of noise, like I just mentioned. Um, they like structure. And I found myself having quite a difficult time with this when I first moved here. I thought that I had to be very serious as well, that I couldn't smile at people on the street, that I couldn't make jokes, and I was just generally afraid to offend people in some way, and I felt like I had to be very proper. But throughout my time living here, I really have learned that I just need to be myself. <laughs> and I can't be worried about what other people think. I can't dim my personality just because everyone around me likes to be proper. And I really encourage all of you that are moving here not to do the same. If you have a bubbly personality, if you like to crack jokes, if you like to smile at people, keep doing that because if you don't, you're not gonna be true to who you are. And it's nice to respect the culture and respect how people do things here, but you also should keep in mind that you shouldn't lose yourself in the whole culture. You are an individual person, you have your own customs, your own culture, and it is completely okay to show that. So long, of course, as you are being respectful, but don't dim your personality. It's okay to laugh, it's okay um, to be open, 
and even if it makes Germans uncomfortable, just keep doing you because if you don't, it's just not going to make for such a great experience when you do live here. The eighth lesson that I have learned is to be firm on your opinions. This is super important, especially in a work environment because Germans are very opinionated. They can be very harsh at times and be very upfront if they don't agree with you on something or they don't like a certain way that you are doing things. But it is super important for you to be strong, to know who you are, and for you to be firm on your opinions as well. I've said this before, but usually when a German is being very direct or being uh, quite harsh, it typically has nothing to do with you and it is just part of the culture. It can just be the way that they say things that maybe seem a little bit harsh. Things might get lost in translation, so don't get offended so quickly, but also don't be afraid to stand up for yourself. Um, this is something that has taken me a bit of time to get used to because by nature, I'm just much more of a non-confrontational person. I will just agree for the sake of agreeing, and I have had to learn that, nope, that's not gonna work. I'm not gonna get the respect that I deserve. So I better just stand up for myself and take on more of the German harsh attributes when it comes to discussing things and also standing up for myself. So as long as you do that, you will have a much easier time. The ninth lesson that I've learned is that it takes time to build meaningful friendships. I have a whole video on why it's a bit more difficult to make friends in Germany. I will go ahead and link it for you right over here. But what I learned since moving here is that you're not gonna be able to make friends as quickly as possible. But if you want to make meaningful connections, if you want to have good friendships, you need to invest the time and you need to put yourself out there because as an adult, at least, it can be a bit more difficult to meet people, especially if you're not in a work environment or you're not super social by nature. So you really have to push yourself to be social and to actually make the effort to cultivate these friendships. And when you do, it's going to make your experience here so much easier. You're going to have people to hang out with. You can share experiences with them. So that is something that took a lot of getting used to for me because back home, it's very easy to make friendships, you know, after a couple of conversations. And here it's just not really the case but you just have to make the effort. And if you do, then again, your experiences here and adapting to the way of life here will be that much easier. The 10th and final life lesson that I have learned so far, I'm always learning, but so far, is to not be afraid to want something different. And the reason why I say this is because Back home in Toronto, I had a pretty comfortable life. I'm not gonna lie. Um, the way that people probably viewed my life, it seemed very comfortable, like I was headed in the right direction. But I knew that I wanted something more. I wanted to have a different experience by moving abroad to Germany. And I wanted to push myself out of my comfort zone. And it is completely okay to want that. Don't be afraid to push yourself out of your comfort zone, to want something different than what your current environment deems as okay or as the ideal, because you'll never know what you are missing out on or what other opportunities are there for you. I'm so glad that I actually pushed myself to move abroad, even though I had this comfortable life and even though I had what seemed to be, you know, great opportunities there, I just knew that I needed to experience living abroad. I needed to experience a different culture and I knew that there was something here for me in Berlin. And I'm so glad that I did end up taking a chance on myself and moving here and gaining these new experiences because 
I have really, really grown as a person. I have pushed myself out of my comfort zone. I have become that much more stronger and I've been able to go through things that probably a lot of people back home haven't really dealt with because they have stayed in their comfort zone. So if there's something that you want that doesn't line up with what society says is okay, go for it. Don't be afraid because if you stay in your bubble, you're only gonna know what's in your bubble and you'll never know what else is out there. So I highly, highly recommend for you to listen to your gut or to your intuition, whatever you wanna call it, but just make sure that you are staying true to yourself and it's okay to do something completely different than the norm because you never know what will happen and what opportunities are out there and what is the worst thing that can truly happen. Let's say you move abroad, it doesn't necessarily work out the way that you want it to. You can always go back home and you can go back to that comfort zone or that bubble that you were previously in. But you'll never know what you missed out on if you didn't actually push yourself. So that is a huge life lesson that I am forever grateful for because it has given me, again, so many amazing opportunities work-wise, in my career, with my channel, having all of you watching my videos and following me along in my journey. And now I get to share my experiences and my advice and help you out with your own journey of moving abroad. And this would have not been possible if I just stayed in my comfort zone, didn't question anything, didn't listen to my intuition and just went on the trajectory trajectory that seemed you know like the perfect one so i am very very um, grateful for that and that is a huge lesson so that is a good one to finish off on i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video i know it's a bit more of a personal one but hopefully a lot of you can relate to this if you are living abroad or you are in the process of moving to germany um, you could probably expect to learn a lot of these things as well. But thank you guys. I hope that you're all having a good day. If you want more info on how to move to Germany, I will go ahead and leave my ebook linked down below and you can head over to my website to check it out. And if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. I post new videos every single week and I would love to see you guys here next week. And feel free to also follow me on Instagram because that way you can get more insight into my daily life. I post a lot of pictures there, a lot of short clips around Berlin, um, so you can see what I actually get up to. But I hope you're having a good one and I will talk to you all in my next one. Tschüss!